welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Faceball 2000. Man, the year 2000 is gonna be so rad. Xanth Software FX released Faceball 2000 in 1991, which immediately earns it minus 5 stars for being blatant false advertising. It was actually a port of an old Atari ST game called Midi Maze, which was a very early entry into the world of first-person shooters, and actually had the first network multiplayer games in the FPS genre. It went for a cutesy, cartoony style, what with the smiling faces and colorful design, but overall it gained a cult following, which is what led us to Faceball 2000. It's certainly a nice idea, but the Game Boy wasn't often known for impressive graphics, so trying for a first-person shooter on it is going to be quite the technological feat. One fun note, this was the only Game Boy game that could support 16 simultaneous players. You just needed 7 4-player adapters to do it? Oh god. The cover seems violent. I mean, that smiley face didn't seem to be doing anything wrong. It was just minding its own business, and we're about to shoot him. Poor guy. By the way, I guess we're in space? Alright, let's see how this port goes. Who's up for a rousing game of Faceball? Bulletproof Software. Presumably that lionfish is bulletproof. Usual pre-screen stuff. Faceball 2000 from 1987 and 1991. Faceball 2000. Let's start to begin the game. There we go. Ooh. Interface. <laughs> Select face. You know, for uh for Game Boy, this isn't a terrible effect at all. Oh, Pac-Man Ghost, yes. Strength, happy, hurt, okay. Let's go happy. Team play, uh you can actually have up to 16 people playing this game, which is crazy. Alright. Cyberscape. Level easy, average, hard, very... Uh, <gasps> there's even an exclamation point. You know what? I'm not radical yet. Let's go average. What? I hit A. Okay. Proximity. Dear God, it's a first-person shooter. Uh, you are now strong enough to bash down doors. Nice! I mean, obviously this doesn't look great, but considering 1991 Game Boy, this looks better than I would expect it to. Oh! Oh my god! You, sir! Haha! Okay, so the light... The light gray is stuff I can shoot down. Hello. Like, this is so unbelievably slow, but it's... Ow! Still... Marginally functional. Whoa. Hello, goodbye. Fire! There you are! Gotcha. Oh, I actually really like the effect when I get hit. I mean, for what it is, for the time, this is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Level 21? What? Did I skip a couple... What? Level 22? Gremlins? What's happening? Give me a clue. Gremlins... Shilodius Impactus. Oh, I get it. Oh no, I died! That's the gremlin! Oh, it's okay, I'm fine. Let's go. So the thing on the ground's a teleporter. There's not a whole lot explaining what the hell's going on, but I'm kind of enjoying figuring things out. Obviously, it's kinda laggy. But again, for the time, I'm... Pretty impressed with the 3D effects here. Why haven't we seen an HD re-release of this? I did it! What? <laughs> One thing I do wish is that they would explain more of what the hell's going on in this game. Because 
Right now, I'm very confused. Give me a hint, hint ball. With camo, Smiloids will ignore you for a while. You, sir. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm feeling very vulnerable. Oh God, there's more. Okay, everything's fine. Ah, no, it's not. This is basically a horror game. This is a difficult game. Partially because of the uh, delay in everything. Look, this game isn't great, okay? I won't lie. I have been praising it, but... Yeah, it's not great. But it's fine. It has its problems, but it also has some good stuff about it. If you're looking for, like, one of the original... Hey. I picked up a face. If you're looking for, like, you know, one of the original first-person shooter games that maybe not a lot of people know of, you know, ignoring Doom and Wolfenstein and Duke Nukem and Serious Sam and all of those others... Clearly, Faceball 2000 is the way to go. Presuming you had a Game Boy. Where are they? Why is it blinking? Oh no, I lost the power-up without actually running into anything. Where did everyone go? Hello? Sadly, Inky, or whichever one this is, was doomed to wander these halls forever. Not knowing where he was going. Oh, here it is. Well, solve that problem. So when the hell are we getting that official National Faceball League? Let's start with the bad. The frame rate was roughly 3, the controls were kinda clunky, and to be honest, there wasn't that much to do. In fact, as a game, maybe it isn't all that great. But from a purely technological standpoint, I was kinda blown away by the fact that this game ran on the Game Boy. During a time when most attempts at 3D were in their absolute infancy, that they could get a good attempt at a 3D shooting game on the Game Boy is really quite impressive. And even though the gameplay isn't that good, I was still enjoying it. There's something charming about playing a game that's so advanced for its time, to the point where I could actually look past some of the flaws. But not all of them. And honestly, like I said, there's really not a whole lot of exciting gameplay to write home about. But on the whole, you could certainly do a lot worse than Faceball, and graphics-wise, it's incredibly impressive. If you can overlook some gameplay flaws to play a surprising graphical pioneer, then give Faceball 2000 a shot. Maybe play with your friends, too. You just need... seven cables. God, that is way too many cables. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Tune in again as we continue digging through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I will see you next time.